their flaws could make like a crazy action fight. Yeah, it'll probably be it'll probably be good to watch. Okay, also on this undercard, we got uh, a female boxer, Chantel Cameron, taking on Melissa Hernandez. I'm going deep dive on you because Chantel Cameron fought Katie Taylor in the Olympics. She actually won the IBO lightweight title at lightweight and moved up. So she didn't want to wait for Katie Taylor. She moved up. She's training with uh, Jamie Moore, I believe. And Melissa Hernandez in her last fight beat Selena Barrios, who's the sister of Mario Barrios, who was a, a top rated amateur turned pro. So this is an interesting fight for me because Melissa Hernandez will be at the highest weight of her career. She fought Barrios around 137 in that fight. She's moving up to 140, not a huge difference, but Chantel Cameron beat a 2012 Olympic medalist uh, in her last fight to win the WBC super light title, lightweight title, but before that, largely unproven. So for me, looking at this, and as someone that watches Katie Taylor fights, this is someone that could be an exciting Katie Taylor opponent because she's an action oriented fighter. I'm sure you know absolutely nothing about her, but you can give your opinion on this. I I know the name uh, because I've heard on several podcasts that she she beat Taylor in the Olympics. Um, that's about the extent of what I know about her. Uh, that that's that that's a fight that they want to make down the line. My bad, I got stuck in mute hell. Um, you all good? Yeah. No, I, I, now I'm trying to research it because I was writing a story that'll be up this afternoon when I have free time in between work things, and I had seen that she had lost to. I know that her nickname is Capo, which is kind of funny. Like like she, the mafia term. Is she a member of the mafia, as our friends in the UK say? But um, I don't.